Welcome to Optimal Game State. In today's video, we're going to put together a veteran guard kill team. But instead of using the Krieg models that come in the kill team box, we're going to put together a Cadian version. To do this, I've picked up three boxes Cadian Shock Troops, Cadian Command Squad, and a Cadian Upgrade Kit. Obviously, this is a bit overkill compared to just picking up the single box of Krieg. But to match the various operative types, we need a few more options from the various kits. On the plus side, where the Krieg box just has 10 models across all of the options, we have 17 models to play with. This is pretty important as the Veteran Guard Kill Team starts with 10 men but has an option to include 4 additional troopers as auxiliary support. With a single Kill Team box, you have to pick one of the other auxiliary support options like an airstrike or an artillery barrage. You do get to pick two of those, but typically the four extra bodies are going to be a lot better. There are a total of 14 special operatives, and of those, the Sergeant and the Confident each have two options that we would like to have. So really, we want to have about 20 models in total for the full roster. Expanding out with another box is an option, and we could magnetize the Sergeant and the Confident. In my case, I do have an extra Cadian I picked up as the monthly Warhammer model, and I'll probably pick up the new Minka Lesk model. So for this video, I'll be going through all of the options that we can make with the kits, but keep in mind that you might be one body short to make the full list. You might also consider getting the army box and the upgrade kit. This is going to cost a little bit more, but you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck, and it is going to get you started for a Warhammer 40k combat patrol if you want. All right. I'm going to do a quick look at the three boxes first, so it's going to be a bit of an unboxing video. Then I'll get into the details, so what I actually ended up making in the end. Feel free to skip ahead if you're not interested in listening to me waffle on for a bit. So as I would have mentioned, I already have this one Warhammer figure. So this was one of the monthly figures. So I've picked them up in Gilead Gravedigger's colors, which is um, from the Cubicle 7 RPG. So I'm going to be doing the rest of that. So we've got three boxes. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for elements that will kind of, that will match the fighters that, or the operatives that we have in the heal team. Very nice draft sheet. This is still in the box. Put that aside for a second. So this is this is the, the main core of what we have. This is the, the, the group of 10. So we've obviously got lots of heads, we've got lots of LAS pistols, all looking great. We do have some grenades and a grenade launcher. Check, so that's one of those. That looks like it's a back for a flamethrower, and there indeed is the flamethrower. So check, that's another model there, great. This is a comms kit, comms backpack, so that's gonna be good. Now this one's a little interesting here. So this one here is the comms unit for the, the, the backpack. But what we're probably gonna do with this is we're probably gonna set it apart and use it as a demolition um, trigger instead. So we, we might have to work and see how we're gonna go do that because uh, you know it's not necessarily the clearest. Lots of different heads, uh, soft hat, hard hats. We'll have more heads to look at in the other two sprues as well. So we will have options there. Okay, so here is a multi Malta, um, or Malta gun, rather than a few more variants of the LAS guns. Knives might be handy for some of the options, or LAS guns. Here's our chainsword. There's a LAS pistol. We're probably not going to use the LAS pistol. I think, yeah, so I think we're probably going to end up using the bolt gun and the chainsword for the confident. There is a plasma gun, so we've checked off most of the, yeah, that checks off, so, so flame gun, plasma gun, melt, so we have all of the, the gunner options, which is great. Uh, this here is an interesting one. So this is a auto gun model, but you could in theory use it as a proxy for the bolt gun. So keep that one in mind, that the bolt gun is an option that both the Confidant and the Sergeant have. We're probably not going to do it for this build, but it might be something to look at later. Uh, there's a grenade, I'm not sure that'll be relevant. Yeah, okay, so that's a nice kit. We'll put that off the side. This is where we're going to get the majority of the models from. 
this one here is the command squad. So we do only have the five models here. I mean, it probably ended up being about the same, but there are a, oops, that was the wrong side. In particular, there are a few parts that we are interested in. Okay. So we have many of the same options as before. We're not gonna need them. So we don't need the plasma gun. Don't need the grenade launcher. We don't need a flamethrower. Um, oh, that's an interesting gun. I'm not sure what that is. Did a holstered something? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, lots of pointing. And, okay, so we've got uh, binoculars here. So we'll be using that for a spotter. Um, not sure what those pieces are. There's a little bollard. Power fist, not gonna need that. Some cool heads. Ooh, that's interesting. Looks like a shell impacted. Okay, and then on the second side, got a few legs, got a few bodies. Plasma gun is what we're interested in for this. So we do want a plasma gun and we do want a power sword for our leader. Oh, we get a sheeted one too. That's cool. Got a few options there. Now I'm kind of interested in this here. This these legs are probably limiting limiting points. So if we have to use them, we might have to use them to, to bulk up our numbers. So yeah, we may have to use this as the the leader, um, which is fine, I guess. There's always the option to go back later and add a few more models if we don't want to use that particular body. But yeah, it looks like that's, that is going to be our sergeant. Just because we're limited on heads, or sorry, limited on legs. So legs are going to be the, the points that are the choke point for these models. You always have the option of going out to get more, but what I want to do in this video is I want to try make it in these three boxes. These three boxes have already been expensive enough. Um, I think if you were to get just the two veteran guard kill teams, um, then you'd kind of be in similar price range. Okay, that's the Cadian upgrade oh, spur. Now, why are we getting this? What's important here? All right, here's a medic. Just holding, is it an IV bag? Probably gonna use this as a, uh, for demolitions. Maybe use that as well. Uh, so it's just someone carrying some ammo. A few more cool heads. Probably gonna end up using these myself. I do quite like doing the, the bare heads, especially for a special ops team. A few of these have the options of having masks in as well. Which kind of cool. Okay, and there's another one. This is a bionic arm. So we're definitely gonna use that for one of the models. And yeah, this is basically the challenge, uh, getting through all of the various um, designs that are on the veteran guard kill teams. Oh, just some petrol. Petrol. Petrol could actually work quite well for demolitionist. We've got a, yeah, it looks like a heavy auto gun. It's nice. Hatchet could be an option for something. All right, we'll have to play around with it a little bit, but yeah, we've we've got a good few options here. I think as we kind of get further into it, we'll kind of see what we're missing. One of the ones that we can see straight away that might be a challenge is we're not seeing any uh, sniper. So what we're probably going to end up doing. Oh, actually, it reminds me. Um, so we said we're limited by legs. And on this sprue here, we've got a kneel down and there should be another part. Yeah, so we've got two kneeling ones and um, we definitely want one of those for the sniper and we might also end up doing something like this so the the medic kneeling down could work quite well as well after opening up all those boxes i spent a little time trying to work through the kit and then um, put together some of the models so i'm going to go through each of the models now and we'll see what i got 
First up was the Sergeant Veteran. Now, I did have to stick to this particular set of legs and body. Basically, because I'm limited on the number of models I have, I have to use everything. I think if I had the full range, so if I had um, maybe the army box instead, that I would probably go for something different. This feels more like a, a general rather than a leader of a veteran guard kill team, if that makes sense. Nonetheless, we had multiple options for the plasma guns, and we had um, a couple of different options for the swords. So this is one with the sword sheathes, and then there are two other ones out of the various kits to get um, with the, the sword raised. The, this is all using the uh, Cadian Command uh, squad. The other option that you would want to have is a more ranged option. For that, you want the bolt gun. We do not have that option in these kits. If you want to get the bolt gun in for this uh, Sergeant Veteran and for the Confident, you are going to need to bring something in externally or, as I mentioned earlier, use the uh, auto gun uh, as a, a proxy instead. Looks good. There shouldn't be a problem with that, I imagine. Uh, but that's the, the kind of only option. Now, all of the arm kits are flat on flat. So the, the arm shoulder connects directly to the body, which means it is very, very handy to magnetize if that's something you're interested in. Uh, it, like, it's possibly the easiest joint that you're ever going to get to magnetize. Uh, so yeah, that's that first one. I th think that came out pretty well. What I found interesting about the Confident is it, we're actually better off than the Creed kit because the Creed kit uses the same body as the, the Sergeant. So you have to decide between the Sergeant and the Confident. And the Confident actually is kind of key for when you or if you lose your Sergeant. So you've got a backup, which is one of the reasons why the Bolt Gun is a nice option. Now what we've done here is we've done the Bolt Pistol and the Chain Sword, which I think looks great. Uh, it gives a little bit more bite. Went for a soft hat here, just to felt it look good. And we're able to build this completely out of the basic uh, kit. So keep that in mind. We might at the end have a quick review over and see if it is actually possible, how much mileage we can get out of not bringing in the other kits. Next up, we have the Zealot Veteran. So this one is a, a, a bit of a spread. So I did use the Banner Bearer model out of the uh, Command Squad kit. It's just a very upright stance for this particular look. I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the actual model. For the left arm, we're just looking for something holding a gun. There are a number scattered throughout the kit. It is very, very useful to have. And if you are a modeler, these kits are actually great. I ended up with a ton of pointing arms left over. Open hands are just really, really handy to have. Uh, and they're the sort of thing that you, know, you can chop and you can adjust and put weapons in. We have what might be a map, uh, but in this case, it's probably going to be, uh, you know, litanies of the Emperor for, for the Zella Vatron. We're very happy we managed to get it really close to uh, the, the actual original Creed model. Next up, we have the Medic. There are actually a couple of different options for this. So this one is a straight build directly out of the Command Squad. There are some Medic parts, Medic options that you can take out of the upgrade kit and out of the base Cadian squad. In this case, I did go for the option out of the command sprue, but that was mostly because using it for anything else would have been quite difficult. It is worth noting that doing a medic from any of the other kits would have been super easy. There are lots of medic specific parts, and really you can take any model and give it a white armband with a red cross on it and you're done. So it doesn't have to be out of command sprue, it was just that particular piece couldn't really be used anywhere else. Comms Veteran. Again, we have two different options for the comms. This one is pretty much straight out of the troops kit. What I did do slightly different here is I didn't build it straight. I used the head and I used a backpack that are quite clearly for the comms veteran. And I didn't um, have the mic held and I think the other part for that particular build is just to have a, a shoulder slung gun. In this case, uh, I wanted to hold on to that my right arm to try use it with the demolitionist. I didn't, as we'll see later. And then it gave me another left arm being slung over, which is quite handy for a lot of the, uh, the other options. But, you know, just it quite clearly a comms character. And just because it's got its gun ready doesn't make it any less, obviously, a comms character. And indeed, for most of these characters, if you look to the creek on the left, their guns get slung on their back. So these are all able to fire their las guns, 
So they kind of need to have that option put on it. Here is the Demolition Veteran. Now, this is this one was, the I'd say, the kind of trickiest one to go for. What this actually is, is the comms model from the Command Sprue. Now, I did trim some of the bits off of the back, so you don't have, like, the crazy wires going everywhere. But it is still quite big and chunky. Uh, it's got a quite large backpack that you can see, and has kind of a front element that I felt maybe kind of looked like it was a... a drone controller unit um, and then for the right hand what i originally attempted to do was to use that mic pickup um, but i just couldn't fit it on so instead i went for the left arm which is actually from one of the medic options so this came from the cadian upgrade kit it's supposed to be a, a needle so it's just someone injecting a needle but what i did was i cut off the bottom of it so it just looks like a circular thing with a button on top so I'm going to paint that button red and it's going to look like this uh, demolitionist with all of their tech gear, you know, maybe has piloted a drone into position and is going to press the button to uh, make things explode. One of the weird things about the Krieg, Krieg kit is that it has a special base set out specifically for the medic's kit bag, which isn't actually used in game. But the demolitionist does use a token to represent the, uh, their explosive device. So there are plenty of bits across this kit that you can put together. I don't have an example here. I haven't put mine together yet, but I'm probably going to take, you know, gasoline canister. There's a couple of grenades and bits and pieces. So I'll, I'll put something together. I'll just put it on the base just so it'll represent that. Also, while I mention it, uh, one thing I didn't realize when I was going through this originally, and I actually had to rebase everything because of it, the command sprues are actually on a 28 millimeter sprue, whereas the normal guys are on a 25 millimeter sprue. The 25 millimeter is what the veteran guard should be on. So we are going to need a few extra bases for that. Uh, and also the upgrades kit, while it does have two more sets of legs, does not have those extra uh, two 25 millimeter bases. Hopefully you have them spare, you have them extra. Right, next up we have the bruiser. So the bruiser is relatively straightforward. You're just looking for a melee weapon. So it's just a normal trooper with a melee weapon. The options that we had out of this kit, we had the axe, which I went for here. I actually repositioned this afterwards. I didn't quite look like the, the look. Um, I probably should have gone for a running pose instead. The other option is there's a, some, a, someone with a giant spanner, which looks quite good. Or you could go for a, a dagger. Daggers would also look great especially if you're uh, going to be adding camo cloaks to these for some talent action. All right, here's one of my favorite ones. This one came out really well. So this is the Hardened Veteran. So again, I've tried copy as much as we can. So we have the Command Sprue body number five. I went for that because it does actually have a medal. So the medal matches what we've already got in Krieg. We've got that gun up in the air, which matches the stance. And we also have a replacement arm, metallic cybernetic arm. Now, the, mo the way it's modeled is actually to pump the fist up in the air. So it's a bit of a celebration one. And when I tried to bend that down, when I tried to repose that, it just didn't work. Um, I think it's because the way the elbow is done in that big salute is, I kind of bend bends backwards a little bit. It doesn't look good at any other angle. So what I ended up doing here was taking one of the other arms. So there is an arm that's just uh, a short sleeve and an arm all the way down. I trimmed off the hand and I took the hand off of that cybernetic one and I glued it on and I felt that came out a lot better. There are a lot of options for bits and pieces. I'm going to be going through all these and uh, adding things on. So in this case, there's probably going to be a big backpack that I can put on the back of this model. I'm really happy the way we, we hit all of the major points. So the gun up, the hands in the same position, that's cybernetic, and the medals. So here we have the sniper veteran. And I cheated. So let's talk about what we we need to have what's good all right so the cadian upgrade sprue has the perfect body for it which is body number seven there are two sets of identical legs and then the the body is slightly different so there's a little bit of variation between them but i believe the legs are identical the gun is what you're looking for so that 1771 is the pointing forward now in this case i trimmed off of i trimmed off the the barrel at the front and I replaced it with a nice suppressed barrel, I guess, and I put a scope on. The scope and the barrel are not in there. There are no options in this kit that will get you a proper looking sniper. 
what I would suggest doing if you don't have any of these options, we don't have um, you know something with a bigger barrel that you can stick on, or even just a scope. Like any of the scopes on top of this will make it look like a sniper, even if it's not extended to the long last. If you don't have any of that, um, see if you have like a spear, you know, a plastic spear, something like that that could extend the barrel. And um, at a stretch, what you could do is you could actually, so you could use a paperclip as a barrel. As I said, I did cheat in this case. I, there just wasn't another option. If you want a sniper, there you have to do something with it. Okay, and here we have the spotter. So this is the other same set of legs. And yeah, the only thing we've really done here is we're using the, the goggles. There are two sets of goggles. So there is one for the right arm as well as the left. So you might, you know, have options to kind of pick and choose depending on what you want to do. Uh, and I am not entirely sure how it plays mechanically, but the spotter and the sniper both being kind of there in crouched down in a kind of stealthy pose is kind of cool. And even though they have similar stances, because the they're facing different directions, it actually works quite well. Okay, now we're going to get into some of the gunners. The gunners are actually nice and handy. Uh, you can build them straight out of the kits directly as. I probably would recommend that. This one I didn't. I actually picked out the body for this one to try get it close to the pose, but I don't think that's really necessary. So there's Melta, and then there is the flamethrower, and we have the plasma gun, and we have the grenade launcher. So you do have a set of options to kind of play around with. You can go with either the, the, the arms that are in the command sprue, or you can go with the arms that are in the, the, the main primary kit, the trooper kit. I felt like it was probably a good idea to build all of the trooper kit just there and done, especially because the command sprue, I think it has one specific body, and then it just shows you all of the options on that single body. And then the last model is the trooper veteran. Uh, assemble all of the veterans as I have, so all the veteran operatives as we've done so far, you should have enough for exactly three trooper veterans. You really want four. <laughs> so, you know, how you work that out, I'm not entirely sure. And um, what you're probably going to end up doing is, you know, dropping one of the models, maybe picking something else from somewhere. So as I said, I did get a trooper from the Warhammer Monthly, um, which, you know, was several months ago. So obviously not an option at the moment. Um, you might also consider picking up Minka Lesk, although, you know, that is one model, very pretty model. It's not much more to get an extra box. Now, my next step is obviously to paint these up. I don't have them. I've only got them assembled today, so I don't have them painted up yet. Once I do, I'll throw them up on Instagram. I really, really liked working with these kits. It was a lot of fun. There's a lot of options. And at the end of it, I still have tons and tons of bits. I have lots of options left over. So the temptation is definitely there for me to pick up another box of 10 Cadians to kind of round things out. I was also very, very happy in that for a change, for a bit of a, a bit of variety, I was able to make all of these as girls, which was pretty cool. So this is a full female veteran trooper squad. From the Cadians, or as I will be hitting them up for the grave diggers, for the Gilead grave diggers. So yeah, it is an absolutely great set of kits. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It is obviously a lot more expensive to put together than just buying one veteran guard Krieg kit. However, you are getting a lot more models, and um, you kind of need those models to get the most out of the veteran guard if you want to play them. I did have a quick check at the DW site to see exactly how much I had spent on this project, and it ended up being about 102 euros, which is pretty much bang on the same price if I were to get the two Krieg kill teams. So that would have been 100 exactly. I'm down a few models, but I've got them the way I want them as Cadians. If I was to do it again, I would probably consider spending that extra little bit of money to get the larger combat patrol box, which would have started at 125, and it was like another 25 to get the uh, extra uh, upgrade kit. So I'd be spending an extra 50 euros, which is wildly spiraling out of control as we look at this, but I would then have had a bunch of, enough to play, you know, Game 40k, 
uh, I would have had the few extra models, and really, it's not that too much more expensive. Now, there is a question over what kits we could get away with skipping. For example, what would we lose if we dropped the command squad? The main thing we'd lose is the plasma pistol and the power sword. We'd also lose the spotter's binoculars. If we could find some way of replacing those and instead pick up another box of troopers, that'd be a lot more bodies. Then we would could use some of the other options for stuff like the demolitionist and the medic. I definitely wouldn't skip on the upgrade kit though. It's a lot of fun and it has a couple of important options like the crouching troopers. It also has the papers for the zealot, the axe for the bruiser, and a metal hand for the hardened. There is a hand with a gasoline canister, which could make for a cool uh, demo veteran. And then there is one with an IV drop for a medic. And honestly, it's just generally a very, very cool kit. I enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching through this. And if you have any questions or, you know, anything that is kind of any options that you think would have worked better, put a comment and I'll, you know, poke through the kit and I'll tell you whether that's a go or a no-go. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Each week I put up a new video talking about one of Games Workshop's specialist games. The goal is always to try and make the best possible two-player experience. If this is something you'd find interesting, please subscribe to the channel and comment to let me know what you'd like to see in future.